Ashworth Church family, 2021 has been quite the year. And even though we stayed in the, in the global pandemic, there was a lot going on here at Ashworth Church. 2021 was a year of great change for us here at the church, and no more did we see that than in our staffing. Lynn Oswald stepped out as our office administrator and became just our bookkeeper working from home. Jordan McDonald, because of additional responsibilities at home and his full-time job, stepped out as our part-time worship director. And Pastor Ryan Lenners, who'd been with us eight and a half years, took the opportunity to become the lead pastor of the First Baptist Church in Sheridan. But all those changes also, some good things happened because we added to our staff Elizabeth Pavey, who's now our team lead of ministry services. We spent our year connecting you with Jesus and the people around you. We started with a day-by-day -day devotional, a daily office, connecting you with Jesus. And then we took a journey through John, exploring that passage of scripture. We ended the year with, of course, Advent blocks, uh, connecting in the season of hope together. And of course, our Ashworth Church online group helped us stay connected and communicate with one another during that time. We changed the location and the time of our classic service to be in our main worship center at 1015 on Sundays. And we did that so that our first and second services would have an opportunity to mingle together a little bit more and make deeper connections between the two services. This year we saw a return of many of our different ministries, senior adult lunch, youth, women's ministry, and I was so excited when we were able to meet in person again for Ashworth Kids. We had a few different uh, services this year that were special, that were set apart to be focused on spiritual growth and experiencing God together like Ash Wednesday and Good Friday and our Christmas Eve service. In this fall, we took Ashworth to your neighborhood with Ashworth at Home. We launched these groups that meet every single month to connect more of our church with each other. About half of our church currently participates in Ashworth at Home and we can't see what, wait to see what happens next. This summer we had our annual movie night. We had Zoo to You. We had everybody's favorite all summer, Ashworth Snow, where we sold over 15,000 items this year. And on Thursday nights, we had a food truck here just for you. This year we've had a ton of building renovations, especially in our Learning Center wing, with new paint, new floor coverings, and a new roof. And with some projects still left undone, there's many more renovations to come in the new year. In August, we had our first church picnic in over two years and also had the opportunity to baptize three different people at Raccoon River Park. Last spring, we raised over $2,400 and gathered 1,600 of these jars of peanut butter for our local food pantry, DMARC. We also uh, worked with our friends, the Wambanyakes, and a church partnership through a live church and raised money to help them after they experienced vandalism. And you didn't stop there. We raised over $10,000 to support families coming from Afghanistan as refugees to Des Moines. Locally, uh, we're supporting a dream of Shar and Warren Brady, supplying hot dogs and people to give away hot dogs at the Bidwell Riverside Community Center every month. Through Christmas cheer, we were able to help a number of families from our Ashworth Learning Center who are in extra need. Ashworth Learning Center opened at the beginning of August with eight teachers and 11 kids. Today we have over 20 teachers and 60 kids with a wait list in almost every class. And one of the exciting things about our Learning Center this year is we found out that we qualified and received a grant for $750,000 that's going to cover all of our startup expenses. It's going to help us finish the renovations in the building, including renovating our kitchen, uh, more classroom space, and a brand new playground in the spring. And after launching the Learning Center this year, our Community Development Corporation Board has continued to meet to talk about the next need that we can help meet in our community. 2021 has been a busy and exciting year, but I will tell you, we've only been able to do all these things because of you. Your commitment, first to Jesus, but also to this church and this church family, this community, but also because of your generosity, your faithfulness time and time again to step up and give time, resources, and money as much as you possibly can to help us further the mission and the vision of Ashworth Church. And we are very excited about what 2022 has in store.